Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are talking about the EcoFlow River 2 and the dashboard that we have on it. So the dashboard here is pretty similar to a lot of the EcoFlow's um, devices, but I have the Eco EcoFlow River 2, specifically that one, and I wanna show you how it operates, how the app looks like. So when you buy your device and when you are controlling your device, you can see what you can do, how you can operate it, and what functionality that this manufacturer and device has. So really in front of me here, you can see my EcoFlow River 2. It's at 77%, and this is gonna be your main screen. Before we actually click into the dashboard of my River 2, I wanna show you more of what this whole entire homepage is all about. So if you end up going to the bottom here where it says space, you can add energy systems. So if you have more than one EcoFlow device, you can actually add this right into the dashboard here. Other thing too is automation. So you can create automations when you are home or you can do a single tap so that way you can easily click to your devices when you turn on automation. And then profile is gonna be your profile, your email and stuff like that. But let's go into devices and go into my EcoFlow River 2. And this is going to be the EcoFlow River 2's dashboard. So as you can see the input I, can, I have where it says AC, solar, and USB. This will tell me how much power or how much wattage is actually going into my EcoFlow. When I click on output here, it's gonna change. So you have these toggle bars in AC and the 12 volt DC. You can actually turn it on when you're close by, and then on the EcoFlow, you should see it turn on as well. Same thing when you go and press DC. DC will turn on for you as well. So without having to actually press the button physically on the device, you can actually manually control it when you are in near proximity or if your EcoFlow is in Wi-Fi status. So since my, my iPad here and my phone is connected to Wi-Fi and it is connecting to my EcoFlow River 2, it will automatically connect to Wi-Fi. But if I am away from home and my EcoFlow is with me out to like a campsite or something like that, it will turn on Bluetooth and you'll be in Bluetooth range to connect to the EcoFlow River 2. And then in the very top right here where it has a settings bar, you can actually rename your EcoFlow. You can do device sharing, because if you're in proximity or if, you're, if someone else is nearby, um, they can actually take control of the EcoFlow and you can share that information for, for them. Energy management, you can have a discharge limit of let's say like 5%, 10%, and then charge limit. When we go back, you can see the charging input speed so if you want to charge your EcoFlow by plugging it into a wall outlet, the maximum is 360. Car input, 4, 6, or 8 amps. DC, so I have it on auto. You can do car recharging, solar recharging, but when I have an auto and you can use different cords from your um, solar panel or the DC in the vehicle, um, it will automatically recognize which one you're using. And then you also have X-Boost. So the X-Boost is great for this device because instead of having it output up to 300 watts, you can have it up to 600 watts on the EcoFlow River 2. And then you have the unit timeout if you ever want the unit to, you know, to go to sleep, if you want the screen time um, to have it dim, change to never, and then AC timeout, if you want every six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, let's put it on to never. Sometimes we are using this device and you, you know, have this device long term and you know, you're charging your phone and it's gonna take more than six hours, um, then you wanna leave it on never. And then you also have firmware updates on this device as well. You have some lab features, which is other, another cool piece because for this one here, it says AC is always on. So if you switch this on, this is a new feature, the AC power button will automatically turn on after the power is back. And then you have help and feedback, you have specifications, 
And this is another cool thing too, is you can change the home page style. So the home page for the EcoFlow River 2 is this standard one that I have now. If you want to change it to the EcoFlow Energy Flow, where you can see different inputs and outputs, um, and you can turn on the AC or DC on here, that's going to be another one. So I'm going to sit, set as current because I want to show you how it looks like. So now I have it as current. Let's go back to the home page. You have input up top, output on the bottom. And you can turn on AC, you can turn on DC. So you can turn, turn on both of them if you want to. But that way you can see what's going in and what's going out and all the good stuff there. But that's really all it is. It's pretty basic. You know, EcoFlow's um, app ecosystem is pretty, pretty simple. And so if you're looking for something that's going to be very, very easy to use, you know, this is a new thing to me. And I was able to, you know, move around this app with seamless. So if you have any other questions, if you have any other concerns, please let me know down in the comment box below. If you want me to make more of these videos or if you want me to make any videos for the EcoFlow River 2, let me know as well down in the comment box. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.